Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Daily Carrington, and today we're doing a get rid of me of how I achieved this look. It's not a tutorial, it's just a simply a, a chit chat get ready with me and I show you guys. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how I get my like beach wave like end of the hair curl because like it's not kind of the top, let me know. Um but yeah, this is what the look is saying. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel and let's get on with the video. I need to stop saying period. I go for a phase where I say period, but I need to stop saying period. I don't have serious plans today. Like I, I literally don't. I'm literally going to the dentist and I'm coming home to make a jacket potato. I had a jacket potato yesterday and it was B for bussing. Like, oh, that jacket potato was amazing. My roots. Like I said, I went to the gym this morning. My roots are absolutely rooting. They need to be straight to match my hair because why do I look crazy? I currently have a leave out and I'm actually loving this leave out lifestyle. I hadn't had a leave out since, I want to say like year 10. Flipping now. Flipping hell. A good like year 10. Like, that's a long time. I'm in university now and that sounds horrible to say. But I'm actually a uni girl. I haven't leave out since year 10. But that's a brilliant segue. Good on you, Carrington. Because I actually want to talk about ugh, these roots. Are you dumb. Are you actually dumb? I want to talk about uni. Her first year of uni in London. I've made friends at uni. Yes. I've enjoyed uni. Yes. Did I want to go to uni? No. However, now that I'm here, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I live at home. I didn't move out for uni, but I, I can tell you that for free. I love going, like my lecturers, I've got a black lecturer as well. Ugh, that's her name, but I should be doing all that on the internet. I've got a black lecturer and she's just such a babe. Like she's so nice. And I just love that for me. And even my non-black lecturers, well, apart from one, he's kind of boring, but, I genuinely love my lecturers and I love my course and I'm doing journalism and I feel like my course is just so amazing but in my uni you don't have like a grade you don't give they don't give you first seconds and none of that so I don't know what none of those mean so you literally just have pass or fail and um I pass them all I didn't expect to fail because like come on don't do all that but like it was just the anxiousness of it and thinking oh my gosh what if i don't pass but i did i passed them all so what i've been doing is curling my hair and then just pinning it up curling like mainly the ends and pinning it up on instagram is where you see a few of the pieces like the good good pieces but what i've realized is that Instagram's gonna come and rob you. Instagram's gonna come and rob you 150,000, 10%. And I saw some dress on Instagram the other day and I was like, oh my days, when it drops, I'm finna buy. It dropped. And why is the dress, why is the dress 105 pounds? Like, I don't want to spend 105 pounds on a dress. Don't, like, don't, don't even do that because that's just weird, first of all. And second of all, is that why are you so expensive? So then, now, there's this trick. I'm gonna bring you guys into something, and something good. AliExpress is the place to be. All you gotta do is take a screenshot of the dress, top, whatever it is that you want, bikini, whatever, and then go on AliExpress and boom, bow, you found it. So then I was like, what? And guys, why was the dress then on AliExpress for nine pounds? don't get me vexed like but obviously the thing about buying it off aliexpress direct is that sizing is always going to be off because i bought a few things on aliexpress in medium and the sizing has been off so i hope when this dress comes that it can just fit me because if not i'm gonna sell it because there's no point sending it back to aliexpress i'm a person that gets stressed like what i'm thinking about me is i can get stressed Stress me, stress all, like, all the time. Me stress, me stress, me stress, me stress, me stress. From morning, me stress. And then, so one day, I decided I'm, I'm gonna change my life. Like, not every day be stressed. Like, some days, chill out. Like, actually chill out. So 
I decided to take a chill approach to life. I'm just gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna let anything stress me out. Like, ugh. And one thing about me is I can worry. And guys, what I would say is that from lockdown, yeah, and from a lot of things happening to me this year, sometimes you just have to let life, life. You can't control everything. No matter how much you plan, you this, you that, you cannot control everything in life. So I don't know who came to tell me that because I am not God. Like, I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. I'm just one little girl. Listen, from my name, I'm not, not, Listen, yeah. When I tell you guys that you can't control, as much as you like to think that you're in control of your life, you're not. Like, you're not. Not everything that happens happens for a reason. And I'll just always be stressing myself out out over things I can't even control. Like why, 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 why? For example, I lost this Skims top when I before I went to Mexico, and every day I would search my room high and low, high and low, high and low. So tell me why. Three days ago, I went to hang something up, and my Skims top, this top, was on a hanger. So and I was stressing myself out over a top. Yes, the top cost fifty pounds, but like I was stressing myself out and like things like that. Come on, now like, not everything needs to be stressed. And I'm a crybaby. Like one thing about me is I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna I'm gonna put in my feelings, and I let that I let that mentality bring me down all the time. And my sister's like, Camden, like, all the time I'm stressing. She's like, you actually stress yourself out, and I actually do because there's absolutely no need for me to be always like stressed. And uh, I'm actually a young girl as well. Stop trying, I need to stop trying to kill myself. Gosh. I love to sit here and be like, I'm such an organised person, I'm not. And that's what I'm going to work on next because, first of all, I'm working on not being stressed because I, I can't come and kill myself. Then I need to work on my organisation skills because, like, being unorganised as a girl is long. Like, it's absolutely long. It's a long day. It's a long day. Now I'm just gonna cause my I went to the gym and that and work and what have you. I'm just gonna use my hot comb to do my roots to make sure they're straight. Although I hate this. Oh, cha. Why can't I find the middle? Got this lip liner from Belle because I'm ruining this. I'm absolutely ruining it. Ruining it. I'm gonna use this pink. The colours I'm using are passion and bubblegum. Guys, so I've been reading lately as well. Um so I listen to the receipts podcast and I live and I'm actually experiencing a whole entire nightmare. So I keep running out of storage and I'm talking and I just, ah ah that's what I think ah! ah that's what I flipping think. Like, why does the universe hate me so much? I'm just trying to record in peace. <laughs> Let me record in peace. I w see, I was going to put concealer on, but, like, because, like, I'm trying to record and it keeps cutting off, I'm, like, getting annoyed. And my skin looks good anyway, so. <laughs> the part of the video where I take out these clips, because I've got to get going soon. And i got to put my trousers on, because <laughs> I'm not wearing my trousers, I'm just wearing shorts. So, um, and then I'll get the look. I'll get the London look, and you guys will see what I'm going for. Leave out life. Guys, I'll tell you, it's lit. It's where it's at. Like, put that frontal down. Frontals are so boring. Says the girl who's going to get a frontal done literally two weeks' time, but ugh, potato for that. It's not a flipping business, is it? But, yes. Yes. Why did it stop? I've actually got some type of anger issue. I've shouted so many times in the last minute.
just relax. This is what I said. I'm trying to be chilled, but I'm not being chilled. Like, what's my business? What is my business? What is my business? Oh, I'm, I'm love that business. <laughs> okay, what side? I done this side first. I done that side. Then you do all this. <laughs> I'm actually a mad woman. And then that's the look. And you just brush it down because I just messed up. And then that's the look. In New York, I, oh, I forgot. I put my hoops in. I decided I'm going to change my earrings today because sometimes you need to change your earrings to feel like a good gal. Because when gal, good gal, good. So I'm putting in hoops because I realized hoops are actually kind of hot. If you think otherwise, grow up. Now. Now. Okay. I think I messed it up too much. So, but like I said, I'm gonna put my hoops in. Just get my hair out of my face. I put them on this little bag that I got from the hair shop. Just because I always lose my earrings and I'm going on holiday, like I said, so I need to have everything there. there. Me can't afford to lose everything, everything. I'm feeling nice, champagne up my teeth. I'm getting Invisalign, guys, in August or September, but I'm getting it. I've seen it. I'm getting Invisalign. I've seen it and I'm getting it because my teeth are nice, but I want my teeth nice. I want my teeth clean. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so Jamaican for no reason, like, what's my problem? I want my teeth nice and clean, yeah. I'm wanting them white, like, oh, white, like, I'm sitting back there, there, white, like, everything in this room, white, clean out. So I need to put the backs in. But this is my really poor get rid of me. I think I'm gonna put everything all like one mash up. Ah! Drop the back. Guys, I don't know if people know, but I actually like garage music. And I was playing for Chantel the other day in her car. I just want to tell you off. Chantel, listen. Not every day underwater, but all underwater. Sometimes garage. Girl. 